Hi everyone, here again, Tommy Walker, the mine engineer. And today I want to cover a subject that can be, can bring lots of trigger to a lot of people, but I want to bring the truth about what's going on out, out there. A lot of people about are talking about selfishness. You know, you're being selfish when you are trying to think about yourself, when you put yourself first, you're a selfish person, and all those kind of things that happens many times when you start your personal development path, right? And I've heard it before, and I'm pretty sure that many of you have heard this before around selfishness, oh, you're being selfish because you're thinking about yourself. The problem, guys, is there a humongous misconception around selfishness and selfishness and i want to talk about that right now and i know again that it might trigger some things inside of you guys it might put in questioning your belief system and that's the idea so i am here to do that guys i hope you don't mind i'm here trying to help you so bear with me as i share this and see afterwards what you think reflect on this and then try what you think hey jose how are you thank you for stopping by so if you're watching right now you don't mind send me a hashtag live or if you're watching replay hashtag replay send me some love over here i know you're there watching thank you very much guys so let me talk a little bit about selfishness and the bad misconception there is out there in society, unfortunately. Hey, Lola, thank you for stopping by. So let's talk about selfishness. The truth is that if I have an unresolved issue inside of me, I need to feel good about myself. So I do a good deed. I do something for someone to feel good about myself that is actually selfishness because I'm not doing it, not expecting anything in return. When you do, when you do some cooking, when you do a good deed to somebody, you, I don't know, help someone and they don't even say thank you and it might bother you. That bothers us because we were expecting something in exchange. So if we're expecting something in exchange, guys, and it happens many, many times, even more times that you know about them because the truth is you're not even aware of what's going on in your subconscious mind, as I've been telling you so many times. The mind might trick you to think that you're doing this without expecting anything in exchange. But again, guys, if you do something and the other person doesn't acknowledge it, doesn't thank you or nothing, can you really be okay deep down or does it bother you? And that's what you need to reflect on. So when you're doing things for others to feel good about yourself, that is selfishness, guys. When you're doing things for yourself to take care of yourself, when you don't hurt you and you don't hurt others, that is not selfishness. That is self-love. And society has it all the wrong way around. It has it all wrong, guys. Self-love is putting myself first, but in a good sense, taking care of myself, loving myself. That is self-love. Prioritizing me. If I don't feel like doing something, okay, and I can really go to the root because, you know, it makes me uncomfortable, I don't really like it, okay, listen to yourself. Maybe then you can still do it. But if you are doing stuff for others, if you are doing stuff for others to feel good about yourself, and it happens more times that you know, guys, that is true selfishness. So I want you to think about what I'm saying, guys. And next time that you do stuff or rewinding into your past that you did stuff and you were not acknowledged, you were not thanked, the other person didn't show appreciation towards you or to your, your act, did it bother you? If it bothered you, that came out of selfish. And it happens even to me, guys, sometimes. I'm not perfect. We're not perfect. We're learning in this school of life. But if we can start becoming more aware of these things, work on these things, it's going to make it much easier, guys. But stop listening to people out there that tell you, oh, you got to serve others, you got to do this for others. That's the most important thing in life. No, guys. The most important thing in life is to serve yourself first. Fill your cup to then be able to get out there and serve more people. As I serve myself, I'm able to serve more and more people. And I detach from results. When I have my session, when I help people, if the other person doesn't get what they think they should get, if the session doesn't go as well or whatever, I can detach myself and say, okay, I did the best. Did I do my best? Then maybe the other person wasn't ready and it's okay. The problem is most of the times people don't realize this and it drains them. They do stuff for others and they find 
uh, end up feeling exhausted, drained, because you're looking to get something from the other person. And when you don't get it, you feel frustrated, you feel upset, and that starts draining your energy. So start working on that. Since I've been doing this inner work and realizing these concepts and changing them, it has been amazing. The results I can see in people through just sharing this and letting go the outcome is much better than wanting an outcome. And there was an amazing mentor that once told me, there, there is an amazing mentor that once told me that I had as a mentor also, and he's, I think he's watching right now, he doesn't understand English, but it's Alejandro Randes that he told me, when we are looking to be able to accomplish something for others that they have to accomplish, we're dis, in a way we're disempowering them. We're falling into arrogance that it depends on us how they do. And it doesn't. It depends on them. That is arrogance. That is the ego thinking that, oh, I can really impact the life of that person. Like, I have the power. No, that is the ego. So watch out with that because a lot of people are falling into the ego trap. I can empower you. No, you cannot empower me. You can suggest, you can bring stuff, you can maybe influence a little bit if I decide to be influenced. But you cannot influence my life if I don't decide it, if I don't let it. So we need to understand that at the end of the day, I have the power. So there's no selfishness in thinking about you. There is selfishness when you're trying to please others, when you're trying to achieve things for others so that you feel good about yourself. So I hope this makes sense, guys. If you're liking this, let me know. If you're not, let me know too. I love to hear your comments. If you don't find this, you know, that fits into your belief system, think about it, reflect. Because I'm saying many things that people might feel in a way um, threatened in their belief system. And that's what happened to me for many years. But I realized that a lot of my belief system was wrong. So we need to change the beliefs. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Let me know if you're around. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. See you around.